Welcome back to the world's messiest shop. Look what followed me home today. It is a central machinery 7 by 10 inch lathe that apparently has a broken belt. Uh, I suspect it's more than a broken belt. I, I paid $200 for it. The guy wanted $250. I offered him $150. It, he so, had another guy coming to look at it, and I bought it out from underneath the other guy for $200. Um, I'm not happy about doing that. Uh, I know that that's sort of an asshole move. But at the end of the day, it was very low. It was convenient. It was close to my work. Uh, and I've you've heard me lament in some of my other videos about buying things on Craigslist. People are so flaky that, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing that the guy sold this thing to me. Uh, because, you know, the probability of people, in, in, my, in, in my experience, I'd say 50% of the people either don't show up or they show up so horribly late that, that I'm furious or, or they show up late at night and, and, you know, that's sort of freaky. I don't want to have to shoot somebody. Uh, that, that comes knocking on my door at 11 o'clock in the night to try to buy some stupid frame. I, I Literally, I'd be, I'm not making this shit up, but like something you could get from Big Lots for $2. People are driving for hours. To, it's just, just peop, some people are crazy. So anyway, this was close. It was the middle of the day. The, I would have felt better to get it for 150 but you know what? Uh, I bought it out from underneath somebody else for $200, and... Now I think I've got I've got two problems. Uh, one, my workbench is a hot mess, and two, I, I need to figure out to what extent the gears or drivetrain are messed up in this thing. So I am going to have a very quick time lapse of me cleaning in the workbench. So that should last about 10 seconds, and then I'm going to get right into this thing. All right, so that was probably just a couple seconds for you. For me, it was probably like 10 minutes, which in my world felt like four hours. So anyway, I got most of the shit put away. I made a couple new piles on the other side of the shop. It's just, I know there's supposed to be a place for everything, but you know, sometimes there's just not, especially when you keep stacking tools on top of tools. I'm sort of, I was talking to my brother. I think what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try selling tools. Um, I don't, that goes against everything I know, but what I'm going to try to do is sell some stuff and upgrade. I so saw I'm going to try to do just improve the quality of the stuff I have in my shop. I know I'm saying this as I talk over a piece of Harbor Freight shit, but you know, this is better than anything any other lathe I've ever had so so it's relatively speaking I have another central machinery uh, you saw you saw it in my video yesterday it works great however I have a big jet horse and a half having two is nice but it, do, do I need to have two mm, probably not so I'm, I'm thinking I might need to pare down and at least make some room for this in the shop and uh, that's that's what I'm thinking God knows what I'll really do but anyway what I'm gonna do now is ugh, this is gonna be a tough one I'm gonna get another camera all right so so here's the drive the works for this thing I also have all the different gears that go along with it and that'll give me my different threading combinations and whatnot but behind this inspection plate is the drive motor and the drive pulley so what I've got to do is get that off of here so uh so I'm going to try to remove this and uh, demonstrate all the things that go along with those motions.
look at that. <clears throat> that is not burned out. That is full of old belt. So I'm going to take this over to the wire wheel and uh, we'll give it a quick wire wheel and see what that looks like. Okay, so I really goofed up with the camera uh, doing some of the other stuff, missed the wire wheel. But anyway, the, the wire wheel, uh, it cleaned up this nice nicely. I, I counted 29 teeth on this and, uh, and the dimensions uh, for this one happen to be uh, 1 inch 681 and then uh, I think this is uh, 391, 392. So um, anyway that's the dimensions of the pulley that I'm working with. I was able to find one company online that uh, that had this particular model number. The model number for this one is uh, 399.16. It's slightly different from some of the other models in that it has this uh, the the tailstock locks down over here and then um, what else is different about it? Oh, it's got the high and low range. Anyway, some slight differences uh, and, it, and all the gears seem to be metal in it. So anyway, uh, variable speed forward reverse I, I, I don't know if it's that much different than the rest of them but anyway uh, I was worried about the belt size and I'm not confident that I'm going to get the right size so uh, I've ordered two right now one is coming from Walmart and the other one is some random one that was it seems to work for most of the small mini lathes on Amazon I, I honestly that the descriptions were, were nebulous I was looking for this particular model I think there's uh, supposed to be 70 cogs on the teeth or on the belt, 70 teeth on them, or whatever. Uh, but when I get that stuff in, I will bring you back and let you know if I had any luck with this. Uh, the rest of the gears seem to be in decent shape. There are two plastic gears in here, um, and I will probably try to source those and, and keep a bucket of parts around for this because uh, no doubt. Uh, this will need some work, but I, I'm, I'm going to do some research on the internet and see what other kind of things I can do to, to make this. Well, I, I, I'm going to get it running, but uh, but just try to learn a little bit more about it. And to that end, I will bring you back in a couple days. I think I should have my, my belt in two days, uh, but I'll bring you back when I get this thing up and running. So this is just part one. So keep an eye out for the other videos, and as always, uh, thanks again for watching.